Well, it's exciting. Obviously, you want to get a good start at home and uh, take advantage of, uh, of the home ice. And, you know, these are important points. So, uh, you know, we're going to be ready to go. Have you guys, you know, this is a stretch, obviously, that you, I'm sure you'd like to play more games, but have you been able to take advantage of the time off you've had? I think so, for sure. Uh, it's nice to be able to put in some, you know, solid practice days and, uh, you know, kind of get familiarized with everything and, you know, more of a, a teaching month, for sure, just in terms of structure and how we uh, exactly want to play. So, you know, I think we've taken full advantage of, uh, you know, of the rest period by uh, by putting in some work. Daryl mentioned earlier that uh, your leadership qualities are a bit underrated. I was wondering if you could describe what your leadership style is like. Uh, positive, you know. I just uh, try to try to stay balanced and, uh, you know, encourage everybody to do what they do best. And, um, you know, uh, it can be vocal uh, at the same time. So, you know, for me, it's, uh, you know, I think everybody uh, plays better when they're in a positive mindset and in an aggressive mindset. And that's how I try to approach my game as well. Speaking of the mindset, you've been home for a long time. You probably love to get on the road as a group. Uh, and now it's a little bit of time in between games, which probably doesn't sit well. But knowing where you are and knowing what's ahead of you, what is the mindset of this group right now, the mood? Oh, uh, mood's great. Mood's great. I mean, it's obviously a lot of fun when you're winning. That's just, uh, you know, goes without saying. But, you know, that being said, I think, uh, you know, you still got to prepare the right way and you still got to put their work in because, you know, everyone else is doing the same thing. So, yeah, we haven't played a ton of games. we got some games in hand, but, uh, you know, those, those you know, that doesn't mean much unless you win those games. So, uh, you know, we've, uh, we're definitely prepared and, you know, excited to continue, uh, hopefully, this hot run. What's uh, players say, and coaches have said that you're a big game player, that you rise to the occasion. Saturday night versus the battle at the Edmonton Oilers. Like, what goes into being a big game player? Why do you think they say that about you? Uh, I don't know. Obviously, you got to perform pretty well. So I think uh, for me, I just approach any game really the same way. I don't, you know, circle Saturdays on my calendar or anything. I just uh, understand it's a it's a key opponent, a great opponent with some great players. And uh, you know, I think playing against the best always brings the best out of me. So um, you know, I relish in those kind of opportunities because you know I want to be out there when it really matters and when it really counts. And um, you know, I don't shy away from any uh, any uh, type of that stuff. Yeah, you've, had, you've been a guy that's had decent success checking cards. David, over the years, there's been a lot of guys tried. You've tried and done pretty well at it. How come? Um, I, I don't know. I just try to play him as hard as I can. And, you know, Connor's obviously a, a gifted player. And, um, you know, you got to be sharp every every second you're on the ice with him because he doesn't need much time or uh, much space to, uh, to make a play. So... You know, I think it's just consistently trying to uh, wear on him, but, you know, it is hard to do. He's an exceptional player. Is there a psychological aspect you need to get inside his, between his ears a little bit as much as anything else? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. I, uh, you know, I know him a little bit too, so I, uh, you know, I, I leave the chirping out of it, but definitely, uh, definitely hard on him for sure, you know, to try to take away his space. You know, that, that guy takes off in a couple strides, so you got to always be aware when he's out there. Similar to you know all the great players. When a guy comes to a new team, there's supposed to be an adjustment period. Why has it been so seamless for you and the Flames? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know really. I think it just we got a great group of guys in here that uh, you know encourage me and I encourage them, and I think uh, you know we work well together and just uh, you know try to feed off each other. So um, you know we got a great locker room, a lot of mature guys that uh, understand you know when to have fun and when to be serious. So I think that's, uh, that's an important balance.